Saroj Jai. Hello. Welcome to Omutech. Thank you. What's your thinking about the prototyping? What are the steps that you intend to take? This is a um, face on thing of my work, so my FSR sensor would be placed here. This would press on this, and that's how the pressure was generated. There's like a strap going around like this. So when this strap is pulled, mm -hmm. this strap goes down and applies pressure on the sensor, and then all of my electronics are stacked over here. Let's say uh, this was my Arduino mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. So obviously my Arduinos aren't meant for high processing codes. So instead what I do is I have a Bluetooth module here attached as well. And that same Bluetooth module goes into my computer. So right now in my computer, all I have is a CSV file, which has all my data points. Sure. Not processed, nothing done. Mm. But now what Python code does is which is on my laptop, it processes all this data. Right. And what have your challenges been with the processing codes? Right now I have uh, my deep breaths, shallow breaths, mm -hmm. normal breaths, breathing rate, things like that. Mm -hmm. Now I need to take all of that data and convert it directly mm -hmm. into a stress score out of 10, out of 100, whatever it may be. It's very interesting with the same kind of data sets. Um, one of the earliest studies was about how in the neonatal cases, you know, exactly the same thing that you have been working on, particularly in babies, right? Mm -hmm. It was one of the first test cases where they looked at uh, suffocation by children when the parents have not monitored them. Uh -huh. So suffocated deaths and how those data points have actually given a lot of indication of you know how parents could watch the patterns with the respiratory pulmonary readings and which is very very relevant but now if we had to move forward right so you're still not at the app level you're not getting there because you just want to refine the prototype and get all of its reading and the data sets going correct